So this you can um, you can get it up out of the dashboard. Although when I first did it, the I actually pulled the top off by mistake. So if you the dome came off, but the thing remained in the dashboard, and I could see like a circuit board. So that's not great. But um, anyway, you need to separate that wire and then take the dashboard out. Also you need to remove the airbag wire connector. So that wire goes to the loom, so I've got to separate that as well. Alright, so to remove the airbag clip, because it's pretty weird, you can't when it's on there you don't you can't see how to get it off. So how I did it is I used a small screwdriver and went in from this side and then this part here clips forward so now it has a gap so when it's locked so to lock that now I would push that towards the airbag and then that bit there will it will clip it will clip in like make it stay there so to release it you go in that way that clips forward and then you can pull the thing out of the airbag okay so i couldn't find a video of this anywhere or even any pictures really so this is a mini r55 which is the same as an r56 second second generation and i need to take the dashboard out so you need to take the a pillars off uh, the surround that goes around the air vents you can see all the things that i've taken off uh, i've taken out the speedo Okay, so all of these things have been taken off already and then the actual dashboard has Torx 20 uh, here, here, here's a sort of hidden one, it goes up that direction so you don't really see it. So you've got three on this side, you've got one there, you've got another one there, another one behind the speedo. Uh, and one over there in that corner if that works that one, over there so you do all of that and then I still couldn't really understand how to get it off and I'll um, basically when, when you've done all of that when you've undone those ones there's two torques here which are T30 which hold the airbag the airbag is under here so you need to undo and take those two big uh, torque screws out and then that is it it's ready to come out and how you do it is you have to grip both sides so you can grip this side and the other side and then you pull it towards you and you just kind of wrench it towards you and it unclips it's got some clips back there near the windscreen that are sort of retaining it i'm going to see if i can uh film it for you. Alright, so you just have to grip both sides and then you just pull it towards you like that. So it's, I've come this way towards me because maybe you moved about an inch. In fact, it's hitting the speedo. And now I can, I can rotate it up. And there's a cable at the back there which goes to the sensor. Yeah, it's just one cable. There's one electrical cable for that thing. And that's it. And then you can uh, you can lift it up and out. Um, unfortunately, I lost the voice part for when I actually filmed this. So I think I was pointing out the three clips that are just underneath the screen. 
uh, they have a felt covering over them and those parts there which I'm pointing at at the moment is what the front of the dashboard uh, kind of slips underneath uh, and above and then here I'm just panning across to give a general view of all the stuff that's underneath the dashboard. I had actually lost a wire. I was putting a reversing camera in this car and I had started to feed across a wire from the right hand side, from the driver's side, over the top of the steering column and then somewhere I'd lost it. So I couldn't get it out and at the same time I couldn't see it from the uh, central speedo area so I had to take the whole dashboard off in order to do that to find it which to be honest would have been better if I'd done that from the from the beginning um, it's incredibly difficult to feed a wire through uh, if you want to follow the original loom it's just nearly impossible to be honest um, yeah <laughs> 